Good morning. Welcome, family and friends. As Vice President for Student Affairs and Chair of the Commencement Committee, it is my privilege to announce the arrival of the graduating class of 2021. Ladies and gentlemen, candidates for the doctoral and master's degrees.
Ladies and gentlemen, the faculty of William and Mary. Please join me in welcoming the official party led by our Chancellor, the Honorable Robert M. Gates. Please rise as you are able for the National Anthem of the United States of America. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleam whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's broad glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof was still there. Oh, say does that star's bay 
Thank you for that beautiful performance, Ms. Lane. Good morning. Please be seated. Welcome to the second of six commencement ceremonies to celebrate the great class of 2021. <laughs> Graduates, you have so much to be proud of. You have adapted in the face of unprecedented challenges. You have persevered and you have earned your degree. Parents, friends and families, we are proud to count on you as part of William and Mary's family and to have you back on campus here, now, together. Even in this gentle spring Virginia warmth, water is available throughout the stadium to help you stay hydrated. Members of William and Mary's Board of Visitors, we're delighted to have you bear witness to the fruits of an extraordinary education. Please stand and be recognized. Thank you. Members of the William and Mary faculty and staff, you transformed research, teaching, and learning in the midst of pandemic. You have kept our grads on track to their diplomas. Would you please stand? Thank you. For centuries, William and Mary graduates have served in our nation's armed forces with distinction. This weekend, the United States Army commissioned 11 William & Mary students. Receiving William & Mary degrees this weekend are 124 active duty, reserve, or military veterans. Would all military personnel and veterans served, everyone who has served, including anyone in this stadium, please stand and receive our thanks. Thank you for your service to our nation. William and Mary's Royal Charter of 1693 establishes the position of Chancellor. William and Mary's current Chancellor is the Honorable Robert M. Gates, class of 1965. Chancellor Gates served as the Secretary of Defense, Director of the CIA, and President of Texas A&M University. He has served under eight U.S. presidents and is the only Secretary of Defense to have served under presidents of different political parties. He models the highest ideals of public service that sustain democracy in the 21st century. We are so pleased that he is with us today. Please join me in welcoming Chancellor Robert M. Gates. Thank you, Catherine. To the class of 2021, congratulations. You have survived the strangest academic year in living memory. The last exam has been taken, final paper submitted, the registrar is double checked, and yes, you have indeed made it through one of the most rigorous educations in the world, and in the middle of a global pandemic, no less. To the parents and families of the class of 2021, congratulations. You have much of which to be proud, and you have much to celebrate. The last tuition check has cleared. Director Littell and the board, thanks for your leadership during this latest test of William and Mary's resilience. And to President Rowe, thank you for steering our university through the storms of pandemic. I have no doubt that this chapter of William and Mary's storied history will be remembered with pride for the resilience, the determination, and yes, the courage this campus community has shown over the past 15 months. For 328 years, William & Mary has prepared its graduates to engage in the open exchange of ideas and to seek wisdom in bridging differences. That engagement is the core element of a William & Mary education. Today, these qualities are all too rare. We are in a period of our country's history marked by too much shouting and too little listening, too much ego and self-certainty, and too little humility and open-mindedness. To overcome the challenges of our nation and world requires facing a willingness to listen and to learn. As graduates of this university, you have a responsibility to defend our democracy 
as well as to keep perfecting and reshaping it. Noting the extraordinary manner in which the class of 2021 has coped with the incredible obstacles already, I have no doubt you are up to this challenge. The legacy of service, of making a difference for our country and for our fellow citizens, is the oldest and greatest tradition of this ancient institution, this alma mater of a nation. That shared legacy is what makes this home so special for all of us, so worth cherishing for a lifetime. As you graduate today, know that you too are both challenged and destined to make a difference. Congratulations and God bless. Thank you, Chancellor Gates. It is now my privilege to welcome to the podium William and Mary's rector, John E. Littell. Thank you, President Rowe. On behalf of William and Mary's Board of Visitors, let me congratulate this year's graduating class. You have accomplished a great deal under very trying circumstances. Your resilience, coupled with the commitment and hard work of our faculty and staff, got you to this point. Be proud and ever grateful to those who supported you here and at home for this remarkable achievement. At this point in the ceremony, William and Mary confers honorary degrees, a tradition dating back to 1756. Like everything else in, about this ceremony, this tradition looks a little different in 2021. This year, William and Mary presents honorary degrees to the accomplished artist Faith Ringgold and U.S. Supreme Court Justice Anthony Kennedy. We are pleased to bring you the honorary degree ceremonies to you virtually. Afterwards, Dr. Ringgold and Dr. Kennedy will each offer greetings to the class of 2021. William and Mary conferred its first honorary degree in 1756 to innovator, writer, and statesman Benjamin Franklin. It is fitting that this year we honor an artist, author, activist, and icon known for her innovative artistry and for advancing equity. Faith Ringgold, your creative powers have broken so many boundaries in innovative and redemptive ways. Born in 1930, you grew up amid the flourishing of the Harlem Renaissance. You learned to sew and work with fabrics from your mother, a fashion designer. With her encouragement, the material arts became your passion. You enrolled at the City College of New York in 1950. You have shared that you appreciated your education, but it also taught you just what was missing. The curriculum included nothing on African and African-American art. Undeterred, you pursued that education yourself. You earned a bachelor's degree in fine art and education in 1955 and began your career embracing many roles, mother, teacher, student, artist. You gained acclaim for your African style masks, political posters and quilts. You have written and illustrated beloved children's books and you have advanced racial integration in the New York City art world. You penned a memoir we flew over the bridge in 1995. In recent years, you've innovated in yet another new medium, inventing Quiltudoku, a game app that elevates Sudoku through color and pattern. Your artworks grace the world's most renowned museums and galleries. You have been recognized with more than 80 awards, including a National Endowment for the Arts Award, a Guggenheim Fellowship for Painting, and an NAACP Image Award. Your children's book, Tar Beach, is a Caldecott Honor Book, and it received the Coretta Scott King Award for illustration, both so well-deserved. In a 2020 New York Times interview, you said, I'm always thinking about what can be better. Through your artwork, 
You have changed the world for the better. You have triumphed. Faith Ringgold, your talent is extraordinary and our university is proud to honor you both for your creativity and the change you have led. With the authority vested in me by the ancient royal charter of the College of William & Mary in Virginia, I now present you with a Doctor of Humane Letters, Honoris Causa. Congratulations to all of you, especially at this time when we have so much happening in the world today. But you will survive it. You will go out and do the best things that you can. If you will combat the world with your education from this wonderful college. Anyone can fly. All you got to do is try. I am very pleased to be here with you. Thank you very, very much for having me. William & Mary has long been known as the alma mater of the nation. So it is fitting this year that we honor a leader who has strengthened the bedrock of our democracy through an unwavering commitment to impartial and fair judging. Anthony McLeod Kennedy, your career is renowned. The 104th justice to serve on the United States Supreme Court, you have promoted civic education in this nation and abroad and advanced the rule of law to uphold equality and human rights. Born in Sacramento, California, you learned about civic affairs from your attorney father and teacher mother. Your interest in government ignited at an early age and you served as a page in the California State Senate. You earned your Bachelor of Laws from Harvard Law School. You served in the California Army National Guard and then launched your career in public practice before becoming a professor of constitutional law at the McGeorge School of Law, University of the Pacific. In 1975, you were appointed to the United States Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit by President Gerald Ford. Then in 1988, President Reagan nominated you as an Associate Justice of the Supreme Court, and you were unanimously confirmed by the United States Senate. You assumed senior status as a federal judge in 2018. During your tenure on the court, yours was often the pivotal vote alongside fellow Reagan nominee and former William & Mary Chancellor, Sandra Day O'Connor. Among the consequential opinions you handed down, you strengthened free expression and authored the majority opinion to legalize same-sex marriage nationwide. Your unwavering commitment to the Constitution has been lauded so often as it should be. You embrace the role of teacher, calling the next generation into a deeper understanding of the ideals of democracy in all these ways. You exemplify the crucial role of the judiciary and the importance of neutral jurisprudence for the nation. Anthony Kennedy, your steadfast service to democratic principles has sustained our country through many trials. It is most fitting that the alma mater of the nation should honor you. With the authority vested in me by the ancient royal charter of the College of William & Mary in Virginia, I now present you with a Doctor of Laws Honoris Causa. Congratulations, Dr. Kennedy. President Rowe, Rector Lytell, and members of these graduating classes who give me the privilege of joining you today in receiving this acclaimed degree. This honor will be treasured by my family and me for years to come. And it is of special significance that we receive it at a time when you graduate at a point where our country needs you more than the country has needed students for many, many years. The Charter of William and Mary in 1693 states that the college 
is to study divinity, philosophy, languages, and other good arts and sciences. Notice the use of the term good. It has an ethical, a moral, a value-laden connotation. Do not be discouraged from using words, from following conduct, from adopting principles that have an ethical underpinning. This ultimately is what democracy means and what freedom seeks. There is dignity in debate. There is decency in discourse. There is discovery in discussing together ways to find new truths, new insights. This was well known and understood by some of the graduates who preceded you here. Professor George Wythe, Thomas Jefferson, James Monroe, Henry Clay, and now by you. To be here on the campus for just a few minutes, for just a few moments, is to experience what you have had the privilege of experiencing each day for years. That is to experience what it is like to be in a place that is a treasury, a treasury of new ideas, a treasury of new traditions, a treasury of dreams ready to be found, ready to be explored. And this you must do. This you must do as you find new ideas, new thoughts, new dreams for a new and better world. This you can do because of your experience here. This you can do because of your commitment to the rule of law and to the idea of freedom. And this you must do so that the rest of the world can look here to William and Mary, can look here to the United States, can look to you to see what freedom, to see what dignity, to see what liberty can and ought to mean. Again, thank you and congratulations. It is our tradition at commencement to honor accomplishments of exceptional faculty, staff, and graduates. In 2021, William and Mary will present six university awards to our community. You can read more about each of our recipients in the program. The Lord Botetourt Medal, established in 1772, goes to the graduating senior with the greatest distinction in scholarship. The 2021 recipient is John Charles Kiner. He will receive the medal later today. The James Frederick Carr Memorial Cup goes to the graduating senior who best combines the qualities of character, scholarship, and leadership. Tomorrow, the Carr Cup will be awarded to Abram Clear. Our graduate and professional school prize is named for Margaret the Lady Thatcher, who served as the 21st Chancellor of William and Mary. The award goes to a graduate or professional student of outstanding scholarship, service, and character. This year's Thatcher recipient is Joseph Matt. John Wells, Dean of the School of Marine Science, will present the award. Mr. Matt, will you please come forward? <laughs> Joseph Matt has distinguished himself as a scholar and a pioneering researcher in the field of shellfish and polyploid breeding. He has participated in VIMS outreach events and volunteered to help keep VIMS oyster hatchery operational during the pandemic. He graduates with a Doctor of Philosophy in Marine Science and a Business Management Certificate through the Business School. Congratulations, Mr. Soon-to-be Dr. Matt. In memory of Algernon Cindy Sull Sidney Sullivan, the New York Southern Society recognizes two students in the graduating class and one other person with close ties to William and Mary for heart, mind, and helpfulness to others. This year's student recipients are Sonia Kinkabuala, a senior who will graduate later today, and Nicholas Ajuvi Arma, who graduates 
with a Juris Doctorate and whom we honor in absentia. Nicholas Ajevi Arma earned accolades from fellow students, administrators, and professors for his work as president of the Student Bar Association at the Law School. He challenged the community to live up to its values of diversity, inclusion, and belonging. One administrator noted that his generosity of spirit, good faith, and confidence in others' good faith causes those around him to come together for the common good. The third recipient of the Sullivan Award, Chief Technology Officer Corinne Picatagi, will be honored this evening. In honor of William and Mary's 23rd President, Thomas A. Graves, Jr., the Graves Award recognizes sustained excellence in teaching. This year, we recognize Judith B. Harris and Robert J. Latour. Dr. Harris and Dr. Latour, would you please come forward? Dr. Harris has spent a fruitful career studying educational technologies and how they can be integrated in curriculum-based, student-focused ways. How fitting for this year. She famously provides deep and insightful feedback to students. One student shared, it is not an overstatement to write that Dr. Harris puts her heart and soul into teaching and working with her students. Dr. Latour's dedication to outstanding teaching and mentoring of graduate students distinguishes him as an enduring and vital force for academic excellence in the School of Marine Science. He is known for his enviable ability to distill complex concepts. His courses have a reputation for intensity and his students rise to his challenge. Congratulations, Dr. Harris and Dr. Latour. An endowment from the Charles and Ann Duke supports an annual award to an outstanding staff member in memory of Mr. Duke's parents who served William and Mary in many capacities for decades. Recipients are presented their award at a separate ceremony. Given the dedication staff have, de have demonstrated this year under pandemic, William and Mary awarded two Duke Awards. The Duke Award recipients are Wendy D. Urbano, whom we honor in absentia, and Darlene O. White. Wendy Urbano serves as a manager of academic and degree progress. She communicates with students with great care and empathy to make sure they have the information that they need to graduate. Her attention to detail ensures the integrity of the William and Mary degree with not a credit missed. Darlene White, cares for many of William & Mary's most iconic and public-facing spaces in her primary role as custodial senior worker, including the Wren Building and the Brafferton on the historic campus. She brings meticulous attention to detail to meet the special needs of William, the Wren's many unique features, readying it for many events and tours. We are pleased to have Ms. White with us today. Would you please stand and wave? Our graduate commencement speaker is Layla Varach. She graduates with a Doctor of Philosophy in Counselor Education and Supervision from the School of Education. During her time at William & Mary, she served as the doctoral co-director of the New Horizons Family Counseling Center under the Flanagan Counseling Education Clinic. Please join me in welcoming Layla Varach to the program and podium. Distinguished guests, faculty, staff, families, and fellow graduates, welcome. It is my honor and privilege to be here with you all today to celebrate our wonderful accomplishments on this day of our graduation. After a lot of hard work and many unforeseen circumstances, we are finally here. The past year in particular has been filled with challenges beyond our wildest dreams. After all, we were navigating a global pandemic that had altered our life as we knew it. If there was ever a generational challenge that would define who we are in the future, we are living in it right now. And now, more than ever, in the time of, as we celebrate our resilience, 
and our innovation in face of this historic adversity. It's a year of firsts for many of us. And though being first is often scary and filled with a lot of hardship, it is paving the way for future generations for time to come. And it is altering the course of history as we know it. We are the first class to finish the last entire year of our incredibly challenging graduate programs in a global pandemic. I am proudly the daughter of Rifat Varaj, the first woman to graduate with a bachelor's from her village in Pakistan. Today, I am also honoring some other historical firsts at the college that have led for me to stand in front of you all today. In 1937, Hatsu Yamasaki became the first Asian American female student at the college. I would not be here without Helen Willis, the first black student to enroll in 1951, and Edward Travis, the first Amer African American to graduate in 1954. Both these men were in education and law. I'm also honoring Martha Bartsdale, the first woman to graduate from William & Mary in 1921. It is with their historical sacrifices and many more whose shoulders I stand on that I, an Asian American Muslim woman, would be able to graduate as the first person in my family with a PhD. It was a year of challenges and sacrifices and a year of firsts. And no matter what program you are graduating from today, arts and sciences, education, law, or marine sciences, you are your own first in many ways, but you are not the last. Due to the sacrifices by those who came before us and by our own personal sacrifices we made in this time, we are changing the trajectory of the future and of future generations to come at William & Mary. Our work is not done. We will need to work across disciplines and globally to continue to work through the challenges this pandemic will bring. But with this privilege we gain here today, we have an immense responsibility to our communities and to our future. But we are also the most ready group of graduates to face this challenge. We are the first in many ways, and we most definitely will not be the last. Congratulations again to my fellow graduates and to your families, and may peace be with you. Assalamu alaikum. Thank you so much for those beautiful words, Dr. Varaj. Some things we do this weekend we could not have imagined even a few weeks ago. Parents and friends are here with us. Some things this weekend are unique. We have six graduation ceremonies rather than one. Some things are sweeter than ever before, celebrating together in person, hearing each graduate's name called. For everyone in our community, the successes that brought our graduates to this moment have been hard won. You earned them through grit and perseverance, despite loss and grief, with the support of friends you made along the way and so many others. Care for others through service and mutual commitment has been a hallmark of William and Mary this year. The Virtual Learning Partner Program provided tutoring and support to students in Williamsburg, James City County, navigating remote learning. The Alliance of Students at the Polls built a national network of law student volunteers in support of in-person voting. Researchers at William & Mary gained national and international attention, advancing knowledge in ways that help us understand our world and change it for the better. Under this pandemic, we've been called to rethink, redesign every tradition and ceremony, every activity, every assumption about how William & Mary teaches, learns, works, convenes day by day. This year has stretched and changed us in ways that we are still discovering. We've used the word unprecedented so many times, and accurately. Yet the truth is years like this will come again in your life and again to our nation. When they do, you will need to call on the capacities that you have grown at William & Mary. Your grit, your capacity to persist in the face of challenges, from international research collaborations to Zoom dissertation defenses, 
Your ability to tolerate uncertainty all year when the future was full of risk amidst predictions that we would fail, and your ability to win out despite these doubts, to craft the best learning experiences that you could, and find companions through trial and transformation. As a university, we have come to understand what the philosopher Hannah Arendt called the imperative to think what we are doing, to be deeply mindful of how we go about our daily work and why at every moment. We have learned how to conquer our fears for the sake of our shared commitments to protect the health and safety of those who are most vulnerable. I remember listening to the Wren Bell on an empty campus last spring. This spring, on each last day of classes, the Wren Bell rang out so strong and clear as you celebrated the courage it took to sustain the community all year. Graduates, trust in those capacities and that courage. You can be confident that you are ready to be called on again. You have the capacities you will need, that your communities will need, and that this nation and the world will need. Grit, adaptability, commitment to others will be your superpowers. William and Mary will always remember this class and what we have accomplished together. Now it is my pleasure to welcome Provost Peggy Aguris so we can begin what you have all been waiting for, the conferral of degrees for the amazing class of 2021. Thank you, President Rowe. We will begin the process of conferring earned degrees. Several candidates join us virtually. When your name is called, we invite you to stand as you can so that we may honor you. Membership in honor societies at William & Mary demonstrates exceptional pursuit of academic excellence. Please stand if you've been inducted to the Order of the Coif. Please be seated. Thank you. Maria Donahue Valeca, Dean of the Faculty of Arts and Sciences, will present the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Arts and Sciences. There are 30 doctoral degrees being awarded in Arts and Sciences. Candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Arts and Sciences who are with us today, please come forward as your name is called. Khan Ban Nak Vo. Mariana Lina Dibanesi, Dibanino, forgive me. Prajaka, sorry, um, Prajita Shishakan Kalukal. Garanth Kadam. Casey Marie Cease. Colin Eggerer. In absentia. And in absentia, Hamad Assam Ibrahim. Sean Francis Richards. Ian Edward Tonat. Alfred J. Williams. Sean Lee Dew. 
Kristen Leanne Omori. Tanya L. Cleveland. Thalia Maria Chrysanthus. John Wells, Dean of the School of Marine Science, will present the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Marine Science. There are 10 doctoral degrees being awarded in Marine Science. Candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Marine Science who are with us today, please come forward as your name is called. Samantha Grace Borden. Brianna Kathleen Stanley. Jesse Turner. Joseph Lincoln Matt. Cassidy Dawn Peterson. Daniel Wang Ha Shin. And Kristen Omori is also a virtual participant. Robert Nopel, Dean of the School of Education, will present the candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Education and Doctor of Education. There are 21 candidates for doctoral degrees in education. The candidates for the degree of Doctor of Philosophy in Education and Doctor of Education who are with us today, please come forward as your name is called. Brian Joseph Nichols. Alexis Arena Harvey. Wilmarie Rodriguez. Anthony J. Saradakis. Grace. Hindmond Fend. Okena Egwu. Wesley Nathaniel Mason. Layla Khaled Varach. Stephanie Duray. Heather France Gentry. Sarah Pulley Hilton. Jaman Hashan Flowers. William Samuel Ship. Ashley Elizabeth Ryer. Megan Story Hallam. Donis J. Davenport. Thank you. 
Dong Bin Shen. Candidates for the degrees of Doctor of Philosophy and Doctor of Education, please rise as you are able. By the authority vested in me by the Board of Visitors of the College of William and Mary in Virginia, I confer upon each of you, as appropriate, the degree of Doctor of Philosophy or Doctor of Education and welcome you to the ancient and universal company of scholars. Congratulations. Please be seated. Benjamin Spencer, Dean of the Law School, will present the candidates for the degrees of Master of Laws and Doctor of Jurisprudence. There are 40 candidates for the degree of Master of Laws and 182 candidates for the degree of Doctor of Jurisprudence. The candidates for the degree of Master of Laws and Doctor of Jurisprudence who are with us today, please come forward as your name is called. Taylor Kate Lane. Jordan L. Serbone. Jeffrey C. Tyler. Spencer Richard Elliott LaRue. Aaron Coleman Pinsonal. Mila S. Kelly. Alexis Kalen Rodis. Jamie Eisner. Leah Kesselman. Gabrielle Elise Vance. Scott Robert Meyer. Daniel James Nanovic. Adam Kingsley Smith. Melissa Marita Mahan. Melissa Lenore Ruby. Ryan Matthew Loringle. Carrie Sean Patrick Cooney. Nicholas Stephen Ballinger. Talia Lee Helfrich. Lauren Elizabeth Walker. Danica McLean. Lauren Hope Forbush. Jessica Elizabeth Kraus. McKenna Zan Johnson. Jason Jian Xuan Lai. Helen Louise Brewer. Heather Renee Pearson. Margaret Ann Lowry. Patton Soloway. Evan Alexander Baines. Catherine Ello. Michaela Phillips. Haley Alexandra Hogfelt. 
Eleanor Catherine Gilbert. Meredith Joy Maroney. William Longstreet Spotswood. Alexander Paul Reinert. Robert Andrew Grindstaff. Abigail Elizabeth Cross. Julia Beth Metaxa. Sarah Ann Moraine. Jamie Renee Seibert. Haley Owen Ligon. Laura Nicole Mish. Elizabeth O'Brien. Ella C. Schaltenbrand. Anna Camille Karabayich. Serena Marie Rowland. Carly Ann Newcomb. Janaid M. Raymond. Christopher Wilson Sanborn. Diana Lee Bibb. Andrew Ryan Board. Kayla Christine Desay. Caroline Elizabeth Woods. Alexander Russell Steiger. Taryn Alexander Wessels. Julia Edwards Sappy. Connor Johnston Webb. William Bridger Newman. Allison Minch. Carson Nicole Keener. William Wasson. Adriana Lynn Roach. Jeffrey R. D'Onofrio. Anna Nicholson. Alexandra M. Smith. Megan Elizabeth McCarthy. Andrew Freeze Major. Anna Jane Pesetsky. Paul Donald Johnson. Anthony Cusato. Kate Carolyn Ashley. Elizabeth Lauren Hart. Lily May Cusack. Cesare Piermarini. Benjamin Kim. Riley Bear. Nikhil Benjamin Edward. Tom Simiao Chen. Nicholas Ryan Matizuski. Adam Coker. Scott Edward Gordon Brown. Bryce Ryan Ballard. Thomas Gray Brimmer. Nicholas Charles D'Ambra. Abby Elizabeth 
block. Alexa Turner. Trevor Bernardo. Jane Wells Schiffriller. Chandler Davis McKinney. Julia Kristen Steitley. Alyssa Claire Pierce. Katarzyna Nowaski. Catherine Lee Sorrell. Daria Mia Meshkin. Ryan David Franklin. Anthony Ammon Clemens. Seth Konopasik. Jeffrey Edwards Cannon. Allison Rodolph. Dorothy Canaveri. Rachel Carolina Morley. Sophia Ariel Laster. Michael Hurd Snow. Joshua Lawrence Chamberlain, Chamberlain Klein Wagner. Alec Sawyer Young. Sydney Kotalik. Catherine M. Ray. Sarah Ladan Gassimi. Megan Elizabeth Flora. Bryn Louise Clegg. Hannah Rose Gordy. Kristen M. Haight. Ethan Meltzer Gates. Jordan W. Reese. Clay Forrest Kalija. Emma Catherine Merrill. Marissa S. Rogers. <laughs> Kemka Christiana Obineche. It's Desiree Ibiranke. Yasmin Desiree Ibiranke Palmer. Catherine Maldonado. Sammy Wade Abdullah. Dome Ivan Esoka. Chimuanya A Asuoha. Michelle Andrea King. Kristen Lee Palmison. Melanie Ruth Allen. Dorothea Reed Alaka. Tessa Rose Tiger Cross. Brianna Rose Michelle. Matthew Lee Woodward. Elizabeth Justine Freud. McKinney Jewel Cornett. Jocelyn Nicole Marcus. Caitlin Baxter. Henry Oliver Taylor IV. Mark R. Garrett. 
Morgan Emery Reeds. Serena Faizi. Anusha Maripali. Abdul Wahab Masalam Al Salami. Abdullah Abdrabu Al Salami. Khalid Ali Al Gamdi. Ali Fahad Abdullah Al Fazan. We have some graduates who are celebrating with us virtually. They are Abdul Rahman Mohammed Almani, Majid Raji Alotebi, Tegan Emma Boda, Jenna Yasmin Chowdhury, Yanjun Chen, Samantha Carey Lam. Alden B. Coffin, Donna Drajina, Allison May Eastham, Andrew Ryan Gardner, Wei Hung, Jingjing Huang, Evangelos G. Capados, Haley Owen Ligon, Mark David Macaluso, Samantha Marie McDermott, Julian Moradian, Tolulope Olanian, Vincent J. Ottomanelli IV, Antonio Gaetano James Person, and Sirwat Wasim. Candidates for the degrees of Master in Laws and Doctor of Jurisprudence, thank you for standing. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I confer upon each of you, as appropriate, the degree of Master of Laws or Doctor of Jurisprudence and declare that you are well prepared to protect and advance the rule of law in this and other countries. Congratulations. Please be seated. <laughs> Dean Noapel will present the candidates for the Educational Specialist degree and the degrees of Master of Arts in Education and Master of Education. There are 11 candidates for the Educational Specialist degree, 65 for the Master of Arts in Education, and 62 for Master of Education. The candidates for the degree of Educational Specialist, Master of Arts in Education, and Master of Education who are with us today, please come forward as your name is called. Elizabeth Grace Radcliffe. Woo! Mary Casputis. Colin Patrick Murphy. Laura Catherine Bodette. Cassandra Elizabeth DeFrango. Caroline Shalafour Jones. Maggie Rebecca Sadowski. 
Sabina Ann Valerie. Erica Emma Morabito. Snoqualmie Ray Beatles. Heather Marie McCaffrey. Caitlin Virginia Whitesell. Helen Monroe. Raul Ignacio Ortega. Alisa Celeste Featherston. Driscoll Dwayne Taylor Jr. John Thomas Riddell. <laughs> Catherine Mary Rixie. <laughs> Ab Abigail Margaret Peterson. Stathopoulos. Christopher Stathopoulos. Jonah Glenn Sweeney. Joseph Jennings Brown. Jennifer Elizabeth Dunn. Amanda Stone Yannette. Brianna Jimenez. Lydia Ann Dolvin. Jordan Alexander Parasakis. Ariel Simone Newby. Courtney Lorraine McMasters. Sydney Noel Scott. Gabrielle Alicia Runji. Thank you. William Michael Cornelio. Dana Marley Scarberry. <laughs> Kenneth Christopher Kidd. <laughs> Victoria Reed Lefave. <laughs> Lisa Marie Price. <laughs> Anne Carter Griffin. Timothy John Haran, Jr. Julia Corinne Townley. Olivia Francis Bridenstein. Lauren K. Davis. Victoria Lynn Estep. Audrey Hogue. Rachel Hannah Dobbins. Ryan Ledger. Mary Brookman Miller. Darian Jolyn Doleski. Erica Bog Wilson. Holly K. 
Kane Georgia Pelfrey. Emily Teresa Laver. Benjamin Kent Burton. Emily Schlossberg. Elizabeth Lee Spare. Natasha Jordan Townsend. Abigail Lynn Horgan. Sierra Caitlin Howard. Matthew William Brown. Stephen Matthew Barlow. Rocky Granham. Daniel Louis Cos. Tru Chil Wu. Connor Slevin Yeomans. Hillary Christina Reed. Paige Maddox Goodlow. Brianna Michelle Sinden. Lauren Ann Jones. Jennifer Diane Twilly. Kylie Elizabeth Overstreet. Morgan Lynn Tyree. Jamie Nicole Brandenburg. Jessica Marie Wilcox. Bien Jiang Nan. Aaron Catherine Eby. Morgan Sawyer. Krista Adams. Claire Amelia Manderfield. Alyssa Page Pence. Rowan Eve Morrissey. Riley McCann Dugan. Veronica Gabrielle Hyman. Emily Daly. Jake Randall Paulson. Cole Robert Blackman. Ashley Renee Peterson. Thank you. Bianca Estelle Kakamo. Mackenzie Michaela Phelan. Jenna Elise Raum. Catherine Ann Mulebauer. Rosalie Tess Rodriguez. Audrey Ann Linter. Sarah Elizabeth Rusatella. Gabrielle Elizabeth Moses. Anna Bino Pappas.
Kristen Marie Janney. Jennifer Ann Myers. Nicholas A. Testman. C. John Burke Cahill, Jr. Chad Ethan Bullock. <laughs> Timothy Francis Hughes. Christopher Robert Ellis. Callie Beth Cook. Caroline Elizabeth Lessman. Alex Chopik. Lauren Nicole Kelly. Matthew Dominic Lamar. Richard Owen Ranger. Jason Joshua Vargas Ortega. Colin Douglas Edwards. Emily Grace Reddy. Sadie Jeanette Weathers. And we have several graduates who are celebrating with us today virtually. Jessica Lee Algert. Cassandra K. Flading. Jennifer Lee Hedges. Jaira Ariel Hilbert. Claire Amelia Manderfield. Elizabeth Lynn Morano. Jessica Blair Nelms. Alejandra Ochoa. Meredith Higgins Pugh. Fiona Caroline Ross. Julie L. Rothfeld. Dylan Eugene Rudiger. Raymond Dionisio Villarreal. Sadie Jeanette Weathers. And Caitlin Alice Zima. Congratulations. Candidates for the degrees of Educational Specialist, Master of Arts in Education, and Master of Education, thank you for standing as you are able. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I confer upon each of you, as appropriate, the degree of Educational Specialist, Master of Arts in Education, or Master of Education, and declare you well prepared to nurture the schools of our Commonwealth and the nation. Congratulations! Please be seated. I'd like to ask the provost to come up for a moment. Uh, I would like to call to the podium Professor Aaron Brewell. There are some additional law graduate names to read students who are attending virtually. Jenna Tierpak. Kira Simon. Melanie Dostis. Savannah Mateen. Maria Heeb. 
And just to be sure that we have this exactly closed up tight this year, by virtue of the authority vested in me, I confer upon each of them, as appropriate, the degree of Master of Laws or Doctor of Jurisprudence and declare that they are well prepared to protect and advance the rule of law in this and other countries. Congratulations. Dean Donahue Veleka will present the candidates for the degrees of Master of Science, Master of Arts, and Master of Public Policy. There are 42 candidates for the degree of Masters of Science, 28 for Master of Arts, and three for Master of Public Policy. The candidates for the degrees of Master of Science, Master of Arts, and Master of Public Policy who are with us today, please come forward as your name is called. And how we're doing this is we're going alphabetically, starting with American Studies, Shannon Bremer. Elizabeth Elsa Rawl. Masters of Anthropology, Claudia Eskew. Caroline Watson. Master of Science in Chemistry, Kayla Copeman. Kelly Copera, and in absentia, Annabelle Bass. Masters of Science in Computer Science with a specialization in computational operations research. Ashta Gimire. Grace Jenkins. Hannah K. Jones. Alfred J. Williams. And Rain Squires. And in abstentia, Daniel Patrick Hopkins, Christina Sophia Marlowe, Anna Catherine Schmetting. And just a, a quick correction, also Master of Arts in Art American Studies in absentia, Maxwell Klo. And now Master of Arts in History. Shay Kailana Simmons. Psychology. Okay. Moving to psychology. Masters of Science in Psychological Sciences. Peter Joseph Varga. Luke Hirschenroder. Emma Rose Waddell. And Nicholas Arthur Serdell. And I believe there's an in absentia in Masters of Arts and History, Thalia Christansis.
Candidates for the degrees of Master of Science, Master of Arts, and Master of Public Policy, thank you for standing as you are able. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I confer upon each of you as appropriate the degree of Master of Science, Master of Arts, or Master of Public Policy, and declare that you have successfully completed advanced study in your disciplines and are prepared to lead them forward. Congratulations. Please be seated. Dean Wells will present the candidates for the degree of Master of Science in Marine Science. There are eight candidates for the degree of Master of Science in Marine Science. The candidates for Master of Science in Marine Science who are with us today, please come forward as your name is called. Matthew Joshua Fair. Jackson Lee Martinez. Luke Thomas Frankel. Evan Rose Flynn. Kristen Lee Wright. Candidates for the degree of Master of Science in Marine Science, thank you for standing as you are able. By virtue of the authority vested in me, I confer upon you the degree of Master of Science and declare that you have successfully completed advanced study in marine science and are well prepared to ensure the vitality of the world's oceans and waterways. Congratulations. Please be seated. William and Mary prepares public school teachers to serve the Commonwealth and the nation. Would today's graduates who received teaching certificates please stand and receive our thanks. Thank you. Dean John Wells has served as Dean and Director of William and Mary's Virginia Institute of Marine Science for 17 years. Dean Wells will retire after this academic year. Dean Wells, would you please, please stand and receive our thanks and best wishes for this new voyage. William and Mary has a global 